afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Dave Klein. It's a great pleasure for me now to introduce a band that hasn't been here in recent history. I don't know if they've ever been here, but we are sure thrilled to have them here with you today. This band is one of America's oldest continuously performing brass band, which is a tradition that goes back to Germany along the Rhine River and places like Kuzel and Saarbrücken. And John Philip Sousa himself took a lot of those ideas and incorporated it into his marching music. Back during the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln and his cronies were concerned that the Capitol was going to be invaded by the South. And they called up troops from the North. One of the troops that went was a regiment that included a newly formed band. It was the Ringgold Band. For all intents and purposes, that was the name. It has a longer name, but I won't bore you with the details. So here they are for their very first time. Make them feel very welcome, the one and only Ringgold Band. <laughs>
both poet and peasant. The comedy for which Franz Zong, uh, Franz von Suppe, the German composer, composed incidental music in 1846, and later an opera by the same name, have largely been forgotten, except for his famous overture, known as Poet and Peasant, or Dichter und Bau, I got that right in German. The music cleverly depicts a, depicts a tragic love story between two completely different persons, a fancy young poet and a farmer's daughter. In true tragic comedy style, the maiden is heartbroken when her lover abandons him. Years later, he returns lovingly, but finds that she has died, giving him a token of her love. On a lighter note, for those who still remember black and white TV and movies, the music from Poet and Peasant might recall fond members of, memories of Mickey Mouse conducting his wildly enthusiastic but comically inept orchestra in Walt Disney's animated movie, The Barnyard Concert. I hope I have better luck than Mickey did the same <laughs>
filled with fluid technical passages and a beautiful lyrical section, the Rhapsody for Flute is a wonderful showpiece for our soloist, Cynthia miller Lost. Cindy has been performing with the Ringgold Band for many years, has served as the band's president, and is currently the coordinator of our educational outreach programs. She's a graduate of Schuylkill Valley High School at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and she taught instrumental music for the Reading School District. We're thrilled to introduce her as our soloist this afternoon. Please welcome Cynthia miller Fox to perform Stephen Bull's Rhapsody for Flute.
Festival round of applause for the fabulous Red Bull Band. 